Welcome to X-Learners, where you can learn all about QuickBooks Online Accounting. If you haven't watched our previous video yet, we highly recommend checking it out, as we navigated through the various menus in QuickBooks Online, providing essential insights along the way. In this video, we'll take you through the step-by-step -step process of creating new accounts in QuickBooks Online. It's going to be straightforward and easy to follow, so don't worry if you're new to this. By the end of the video, you'll know exactly how to set up new accounts to manage your finances efficiently. Now, we will see how to create new accounts in QuickBooks Online. Once you're logged in to QuickBooks Online system, look for the Accounting tab in the navigation menu on the left side of the screen. Click on it and then select Chart of Accounts from the drop-down menu. In the Chart of Accounts, click on the New button in the top right corner. This will open a window where you can set up a new account. First, we will see how to create an income account in QuickBooks Online. In the New Account window, you'll see different types of accounts in the Account Type drop-down list. Select Income as the Account Type since we want to create an income account. After selecting Income as the Account Type, you'll see a new drop-down menu labeled Detail Type. Click on this drop-down menu to choose the specific detail type that best matches the type of income you want to track. The detail type helps categorize the income account more specifically, making it easier to track and report on different types of income. Scroll through the list and choose the appropriate detail type. The available options may include types like sales of product income, service or fee income, other primary income, etc. Select the one that aligns with the nature of the income you want to record. Here I will select the sales of product income as the detail type. After choosing the detail type, the account name will automatically reflect the selected detail type, in this case as sales of product income. You have the option to modify the name if needed, or keep it as is if it suits your income nature. If there are any additional details to add, you can do so in the description box. For subaccounts, check the Is subaccount box and provide the parent account name, if applicable. Otherwise, leave the box unchecked for a standalone account. Next, you'll have the option to select a default tax code. This will only appear if you've already created tax codes in the system. If you have a tax code that applies to transactions related to this account, you can choose it here. However, if you haven't set up any tax codes or don't need one for this account, you can simply skip this step as it is not mandatory. Once you've filled in all the necessary details, click the Save and Close button to create your new income account. Now we will see how to create an expense account in QuickBooks Online. Once again, click the New button in the upper right corner to create a new account. In the Account Type drop-down list, select Expense since we want to create an expense account. Then, in the next drop-down menu, select the details type that best corresponds to the type of expense you wish to track. Select the one that aligns with the nature of the expense you want to record. For example, if it's for rent of the building, choose the Rent or Lease of Buildings detail type. If it's a subaccount, mark the Is subaccount box and enter the parent account name if applicable. Otherwise, if it's a standalone expense account, leave the box unchecked. Next, you can select the default tax code if it is applicable or leave it. Once you've filled in all the necessary details, click the Save and Close button to create your new expense account. Next, we can create a bank account in QuickBooks Online. Again, click on the New button to create a new account. In the Account Type drop-down, select Cash and Cash Equivalents. Choose the Detail Type as Bank. Thereafter, enter the account name and any additional details in the description box if needed. I will give the name as Commercial Bank and leave the description box blank. I will leave the subaccount and default tax code also blank. Then we can see another two boxes for balance and as of date. If there's a balance in the bank account at the time of creating it, enter the balance amount and select the date for that balance in the respective boxes. Finally, click on the Save and Close button to complete the account creation process. Now we will see how to create a fixed asset account in QuickBooks Online. Click on the New button on the Chart of Accounts page and in the Account Type drop-down, choose Fixed Asset. Select the appropriate Detail Type based on the type of fixed asset, such as furniture and fixtures, equipment, or vehicles. 
I will select furniture and fixtures and keep the same account name. Next, leave the description box is sub account and default tax code blank if you don't want to fill. Now you'll notice a checkbox labeled track depreciation of this asset. If you want to track depreciation for this fixed asset, simply tick this checkbox. Once you tick the box, four additional boxes will appear, informing you that QuickBooks Online will create two sub-accounts for this asset, one to track the cost and the other to track the depreciation. If you want to track depreciation, keep the checkbox ticked and enter the original cost value along with the date as of when the account is created. Similarly, provide the accumulated depreciation for the same date as of. Finally, click on Save and Close to create this new fixed asset account. Thereafter, let's see how to create a current liability account in QuickBooks Online. It's very simple. Click on the New button and select Current Liability as the account type. Then, choose the appropriate detail type for your current liability. I select as Insurance Payable and leave the name as it is. Lastly, feel free to skip adding a description, sub-account, and default tax code if you don't need them. Simply click on the Save and Close button, and there you have it. Your insurance payable account is now created and ready to use. You can create other accounts in QuickBooks Online just as easily. Head over to the Chart of Accounts, and you'll see all the accounts you've made, like Sales of Product Income, Rent of Head Office Building, Commercial Bank, and Insurance Payable. And there's a furniture and fixtures account with two accounts for cost and depreciation. Now let's check out how to create sub-accounts. Say you already have two expense accounts, utilities and electricity. To make electricity a sub-account of utilities, click on the little arrow next to the electricity account and choose Edit. In the editing window, check the box that says Is Sub-Account and set Utilities as the parent account. Click on Save and Close. Electricity account is now a sub-account of utilities. Next, let's talk about assigning account numbers. First, make sure you've enabled account numbers in QuickBooks Online. Go to the Settings gear wheel, click on Account and Settings under Your Company, and then to the Advanced section. In the Chart of Accounts part, click on the Editing tool, enable account numbers, and save your changes. Once enabled, you'll see a new number column in the Chart of Accounts page. To assign a number to an account, click Edit for that account, enter the number you want, and save it. You can give account numbers to all your accounts this way. And when you create a new account, there's that number column is there. In a nutshell, we've covered creating new accounts, setting up sub-accounts, and editing accounts in QuickBooks Online. You can follow these steps to create any account you need in your QuickBooks Online system. If you have any questions, just leave a comment and I'll be happy to help you out. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel to stay in the loop for future videos. I'll see you in the next video.